The B-24 Liberator was a powerful bomber, a true marvel of engineering and a testament to American ingenuity. It was a symbol of American might in World War II, representing the relentless spirit and determination of the Allied forces. With its long range and heavy bomb load, the B-24 changed the war. It could reach targets that were previously out of range, delivering devastating payloads with precision. It helped the Allies gain air superiority, flying in tight formations that dominated the skies and overwhelmed enemy defenses. The B-24 was a workhorse, tirelessly flying mission after mission, often under the most challenging conditions. It flew thousands of missions, each one contributing to the eventual victory over the Axis powers. It helped defeat the Axis powers, playing a crucial role in many key battles and campaigns. The B-24 was known for its ruggedness, able to withstand significant damage and still complete its mission. It could take a lot of damage and still keep flying, often returning to base with holes in its fuselage and wings. This made it popular with crews, who trusted the aircraft to bring them home safely. They knew they could rely on it even in the most dire of circumstances. The B-24 was a complex aircraft for its time. It had advanced features including state-of-the-art navigation and bombing systems. The B-24 was more than just a plane. It was a symbol of hope, a beacon of American resilience and technological prowess. It was a symbol of hope. It represented American determination and the collective effort of a nation united against tyranny. It showed the world the strength of American industry, with factories working around the clock to produce these mighty bombers. The B-24 helped turn the tide of the war, its relentless bombing campaigns crippling enemy infrastructure and morale. It secured victory for the Allies, ensuring that freedom and democracy would prevail. In the late 1930s, war clouds gathered ominously over Europe and Asia. The world was on the brink of a conflict that would soon engulf the globe. The U.S. Army Air Corps recognized the urgent need for a new advanced bomber to meet the demands of modern warfare. They envisioned a plane with an unprecedented range capable of reaching distant targets that were previously out of reach. Additionally, they required an aircraft that could carry a significantly heavier bomb load, ensuring maximum impact on enemy infrastructure. Consolidated Aircraft, a company known for its innovative designs, stepped up to the challenge. They meticulously designed the B-24 Liberator, a bomber that would soon become legendary. The B-24 was an imposing aircraft, larger than many of its predecessors. With a wingspan of over 110 feet, it was a marvel of engineering. The plane was powered by four robust engines, providing the necessary thrust for its long missions. Its distinctive twin-tail design not only gave it a unique look but also improved its stability and control. Perhaps the most crucial feature of the B-24 was its expansive bomb bay. This bomb bay could carry over 8,000 pounds of bombs making it a formidable weapon in the skies. The B-24 was specifically designed for long-range missions allowing it to reach targets far beyond the front lines. It could fly over 2,000 miles without the need for refueling, a critical advantage in wartime operations. This remarkable range enabled it to strike deep into enemy territory, hitting strategic targets with precision. The B-24 was also engineered for high-altitude flight, allowing it to evade enemy defenses. The U.S. military needed a lot of B-24 Liberators and they needed them fast. The urgency was driven by the escalating conflict and the need to maintain air superiority. Consolidated aircraft ramped up production. They built huge factories. These factories were marvels of industrial engineering, designed to maximize efficiency and output. They hired thousands of workers. Men and women from all walks of life joined the effort, driven by a sense of duty and patriotism. The B-24 was a complex aircraft. Its design required precision and attention to detail, with each component playing a crucial role in its performance. Building it required a massive effort. The assembly line was a hive of activity, with workers meticulously piecing together the aircraft. Consolidated aircraft used innovative techniques. They implemented new manufacturing processes that revolutionized aircraft production. They used mass production methods. This approach allowed them to produce aircraft at an unprecedented rate. Meeting the high demands of the war, they built parts in different locations. This decentralized production model ensured that no single factory was overwhelmed and allowed for specialization. Then they shipped them to central assembly plants. This sped up production. The logistics were a feat of coordination, ensuring timely delivery of parts. The workforce was made up of men and women. This diverse workforce brought together a range of skills and perspectives, enhancing the production process. 
Many had never worked in a factory before. They learned new skills. They worked long hours. Training programs were established to quickly bring new workers up to speed. They knew they were contributing to the war effort. This sense of purpose kept morale high, even during the most grueling shifts. By the end of the war, over 18,000 B-24s had been built. This monumental achievement was a testament to the dedication and hard work of everyone involved. It was the most produced American bomber of World War II. The B-24 Liberator played a crucial role in the Allied victory, symbolizing the industrial might and determination of the United States. The B-24 Liberator played a crucial role in the European theater during World War II. Its long range and heavy bomb load made it a formidable weapon against Axis powers. The aircraft participated in numerous bombing raids. The B-24s flew from bases in England and Italy. They targeted key industrial and military sites, significantly weakening the enemy's war effort. The missions were long and dangerous. The B-24s faced heavy flak and enemy fighters. The bravery and skill of the crews who flew these missions. They endured harsh conditions and flew through intense storms. The B-24's long range was essential. It allowed the Allies to strike deep into German territory. The bombing campaign crippled the German war machine it hastened the end of the war. The Pacific Theater, liberators in the fight against Japan. The B-24 was also deployed to the Pacific Theater. It was used against Japan. The B-24s bombed Japanese bases and shipping lanes. They supported Allied ground forces. The vast distances of the Pacific presented challenges. The B-24's long range was even more valuable in this theater. The B-24s flew from island bases. They conducted long-range bombing missions. The B-24 Liberator was involved in many key battles. It played a role in the liberation of occupied Japanese territories. It helped to cripple the Japanese war effort. Beyond the bombs and the other roles of the B-24 Liberator, the B-24 was a versatile aircraft. It was used for more than just bombing. It was also used for transport and reconnaissance. The B-24 could carry passengers and cargo. The B-24 was used to transport troops and supplies, it transported wounded soldiers, it even dropped propaganda leaflets. The B-24's long range made it ideal for these missions. The B-24 served as a maritime patrol aircraft, it was equipped with radar, it could detect enemy submarines, it helped protect Allied shipping lanes. A legacy of strength remembering the B-24 Liberator. The B-24 Liberator was a remarkable aircraft. It played a vital role in World War II. It was a symbol of American industrial might. It was a testament to the courage and sacrifice of the men and women who built and flew it. The B-24 helped to turn the tide of the war. It helped to defeat the Axis powers. It left a lasting legacy on aviation history. The B-24 is remembered for its ruggedness and reliability. It is honored for its contribution to victory. It serves as a reminder of the importance of air power in modern warfare.